Here to tell us how they make all of that stuff happen, please welcome Stuart St Paul. Hey. Uh, thanks so much for joining no us. Problem. Uh, you've been working in stunts for a long old time now, but what exactly does a stunt coordinator do? Well, he takes the ambition of the script and has to make it real. So, if it's a car crash, you may have to close roads, book the fire, book the ambulance rescue, have everybody there in case, um, have the car prepped, made stronger, and design how you're going to do it. If it's uh, explosions, you need to have clearances, all kinds of things. It could be mechanical. You right. could be okay. building something. So you're just, like, the boss of the whole stunt thing. <laughs> you take an overview and try and make it happen, for yeah. real. So you need... You need to plan it, and you need to plan it to be safe. Carefully. Uh, so what kind of training do you need, then? Well, um, the initial training for any stuntman is to be an instructor in six different sports. So you become an actor first, because we're all actors. Yep. Yeah. Then you train and do six different sports, and then you come into the apprenticeship. Oh my and goodness. from that, you then start to learn. But you'll find most of us have got a more mechanical background than an arty background. Right. Have you so ever hurt yourself? Well, the idea is to try and not get hurt. It's to try and design. <laughs> of course, but... <laughs> <laughs> if he was getting hurt, they don't need a stunt coordinator. No. You just push people oh, no, over. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Then they get an ambulance, not me. <laughs> no, the idea is to try and figure out how to do something safely. So we're looking for the accidents before they happen. How things may be not quite right, or if some. Sometimes an actor may just have his weight on the wrong foot, and you can see he's off balance, and you need to just quietly correct that. Some... So, if you're improving the safety, why do the soaps call you the angel of death? Oh. Ah, that's a very good question. <laughs> I've killed off an awful lot of soap stars. Have you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And there was a period where I, I basically knocked them all off, one after the other. <laughs> and then the funny thing is, is that if you're on a train getting a phone call from a producer saying, how would you murder somebody? <laughs> yeah. People start looking at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to murder Rita Fairclough's husband. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, weren't you responsible for the big Emmerdale plane crash? I was. I mean, that was quite movie-esque. So it's great to be able to work on a movie one day and then the next day you're working on, like, a small web series like Shades of Bad or something. Uh, but you take those big talents and bring them down into television. Yeah. Right. And that was a completely iconic turning point in history for so. So many people involved as well in that. Um... It was cranes, planes and oh automobiles. Well, yeah. 18 million people tuned in to watch that plane crash. Let's take a look. You can't go back in there. It's not worth it, King. There's still some less stuff in there. The gas cylinder, run! Run, everybody, run! That's such an English thing, isn't it? It's like we have a big explosion. Of, da, 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 da. In America, it would be. Dish, ba, 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 ba. Ah! Um, you, it's not just uh, killing people off, it's stunts of every description. A little bit of destruction here and there. Yeah. yeah. Um, you were called in on Mrs. Brown's Boys, is that right? Yeah, I mean, I've looked after all of the series of Mrs. Brown's Boys, and you might look at it and go, well, where, what's you going wrong? You wouldn't expect that at no, all. No, you wouldn't would think you? there was well, a Mrs. Brown's It's the little things that catch you out. It really is. Mm. Just the tiny things. Okay. All right. Well, well, there was uh, a dodgy see. Christmas tree once, which I had to take special care of. Oh, OK. Well, we're going <laughs> to see that, OK? Let's have a look. <laughs> no offence, that didn't actually look that dangerous. <laughs> no, but what was dangerous there is that the Christmas tree was actually a big, heavy metal pole to hold his weight. Right. They put a crash mat on the floor and they, the special effects had designed it, but they hadn't thought, right, Man falls, crash mat stops him. Yeah. Heavy pole falls. Yeah. What stops uh, that? Yeah. The back the of his yeah, head. Yeah. So, um, so you can show us a bit of something now. Yeah. Maybe? Can you show Rita something? Stunt work yeah, or something? Yeah. Yeah. There are no Christmas trees here. No, no, no Christmas trees. No. Uh, oh, go on, a bit of bit of business. Come on, really something. come on, let's do a bit of something. I was warned about it. Come you. on, we're going to make it exciting. No, no, no. Go on, no. come on. Oh. You get come on, we can do a bit of something, huh? No, I, I come, really, on. come on, come on. Not, come if on. you don't mind. Come on, come on. Oh. 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 OK, fine, don't show us anything at all. Oh, <sighs> my God, don't try this at home. They are professionals. <laughs> right here. Ah. <laughs> Uh, look, what a treat to have a proper stunt yeah. man here. Let's hear it for Stuart, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love that. You're
you all right? Yes, I'm sure, actually... Okay. I was talked through it. Uh, uh, Stuart, what theme tune have we got tonight? Uh... Well... Yes! The manliest of all the theme tunes. You'd expect nothing less from a stuntman. <laughs>